So we have to come in this dressing room. This is dressing room number one. So it's number one for a reason. This is Roy A. Cuff's dressing room. So you're going to see Mr. Roy. You're going to see the plaque um, that says, ain't nothing going to come up today that me and the Lord can't handle. He always said that. Uh, this dressing room is our most famous room. This dressing room is used by all the A-list artists. So if you want to think of the biggest act, they're going to use this room. Blake Shelton, Vince Gill. You're going to see a lot of pictures of Vince Gill because he's a good ambassador the way Roy Acuff was. Um, but the A-listers use this room. And this room is very different for a lot of reasons. We let our tours come in here. Um, we're trying to carry on a tradition that Roy Acuff had, which was to always leave the door open. So imagine, I told you how huge Roy Acuff was back in his day. So the artists that are coming to play all knew Roy Acuff. They couldn't believe they were seeing him in the flesh. So you've been invited to play the Grand Ole Opry. You're feeling pretty big and you're strutting down the hallway right there. He picked this room out to be right at the green room right here at the stage. You're strutting at that end of the hallway. You're making your way down. You're making your way down. And by the time you get kind of right in front of this door, you're almost to the stage. And you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm about to play the Grand Ole Opry. Something always happens. Always to big burly men like Blake Shelton and Trace Atkins. Big tough guys. They break down in tears. They can't believe they're here. And I mean, it's like a real moment yeah. that we at this point just learn to expect. Um, and so back then, Roy Acuff had a little chair back there he would sit in and and he would know this was going to happen. He knew there was an Opry debut. It's likely to happen. And he would say, hey, come on in my room. I want to talk to you for a minute. So now these guys are having a break going, I'm going to go play the Opry. And Roy Echo's actually talking to them in the flesh. And he's saying, we're so happy to have you here. I couldn't wait to get to meet you. We've been looking forward to it. He calms them down. And they go out and they put on some of the most famous performances that ever went down in Opry history. So um, we leave the store open now for everyone and Vince Gill always leaves the door open the artists leave the door open like I said it's the A-listers so the people that you would think would be shutting their doors the fastest are leaving the doors open here um, very Opry of them yeah. and very Roy Acuff I feel guilty I just closed yeah, I just shut the door. <laughs> that's okay <laughs> turn around the doors behind us we'll probably have to open it for that door because they're gonna be like oh she's telling us fibs right. so we're in the green room this is where all the artists sit down, hang out, have coffee and tea. Yeah, you're doing it right. That's exactly how they do it. Um, and so they all hang out in here. Sometimes jam sessions break out. It's kind of a fun room. Um, but this was actually painted by Archie Campbell. Um, Archie Campbell was on Hee Hall for years and years. He was a comedian. He was depicting a Saturday Night Opry. So you're going to see people up at the stage taking pictures. That's one of my favorite things the Opry does. Most of you say, back up. You're, we're too cool for you. You can't get too close. And we're like, come on up. Take a picture. Come on and look at us. This is organized chaos. Yeah, that's actually what they call this picture. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> well, Lucky then guess. he must have named it well because this is called organized chaos. That's exactly what this is called. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, they're going to think we staged that. I swear to God, that was <laughs> They're going to think we staged that. That was real. That was a thing. <laughs> that was real. Um, Archie Campbell painted himself under the word Olin Grand Ole Opry with a cigar and a mustache, dancing with a beautiful lady. Um, they rumor that he painted himself dancing with Dolly Parton so that he could always say he was, but it's just a rumor. But I don't blame him. He looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, aside from that, there's a few things to look at in here. We had a flood in 2010, so that right there that's is the, water the that's the water line. Wow. And we're at stage level, so we're at four feet on top of the stage right now. Um, little Jimmy Dickens came out shortly after the flood. I think he was on CMT or something, and he had on some big goggles and a snorkel mask because he was only four foot eleven, right. so it would have crept up to him um, being that tall. How much do you think you lost in the flood? Um, that's really hard to say because. They jumped in and started trying to retrieve stuff as fast as they could. Um, the first priority was our circle of wood. Um, there's a picture over there actually showing where we were putting that back in. Everything was fine. We saved it. Um, and so there were some instruments and things lost. But we also were able to make our backstage even more beautiful after that. So I love, do you mind if we walk around? No, let's do it. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. few really cool pictures in here. I love this picture of James Brown in Porter Wagner when oh, he came and played. Yeah. Um, over here, let's go to this side. Here we are at the White House, right there. You can see President Obama. Casually, here we yeah. are at the White House. <laughs> there can you, is. Uh, can, you, can you point that out one more time? Sorry. Yeah. So here we are at the White House. This is President Obama watching Brad Paisley, um, George Bush Sr., Richard Nixon famously yo yoing out on the stage, Ronald Reagan with Roy Acuff. Um, actually, both with Roy Acuff. All three of those with Roy Acuff. <laughs> he 
he was in them all. Um, so that's fun. I also love to point out, of course, that's Garth giving Carrie Underwood her welcome to the family, you're a member um, moment. This is the first time we played Carnegie Hall in 1961. There's a similar picture, but way newer over here the next time we played Carnegie Hall just a few years ago. Um, I love this. It was actually shortly before Porter Wagner passed away. Dolly was singing I Will Always Love You to him here at the Opry House. I remember watching that on TV. Um, I've mentioned we're a radio show and that we always broadcast live and we never miss a show. It's a really big thing, even through the flood. One of my favorite pictures is this night. The curtain would not rise, so they <laughs> held it up all night long. There's Roy Acuff just letting him hold it above wow. his head, putting on the show. You can the see, show must go on. You can see little Jimmy Dickens and Hank Williams and all these guys, how little he was. Yeah. This is when we were at the Ryman and how big the line would wrap around the building, just deep with people, couldn't wait to get in. Our first cast, Johnny and June. Sarah Cannon giving Barbara Mandrell a humanitarian award. This is kind of a cool run.